Welcome to THR, the Heights in Review, your weekly recap of the top height stories from the week. This past week, BC reports 22 new COVID-19 cases since Tuesday. Students demand justice for Breonna Taylor, protest racism at Boston College, and Eagles ride textbook fourth quarter to win over Texas State. BC reported 21 additional undergraduate cases of COVID-19 on its dashboard between Tuesday and Thursday, with 1,775 new undergraduate tests. The state reported this week that there have been 629 total cases associated with higher education in Massachusetts as of Tuesday morning. BC had reported 127 total cases at that time. The university reported a total of 24 positive tests for the week and a weekly community positivity rate of 0.38% on its dashboard on Thursday. Dozens of Boston College students stood in solidarity with protesters across the country demanding racial justice after a grand jury in Kentucky declined on Wednesday to charge any police officer with the killing of Breonna Taylor. Protesters stood outside Lower on Thursday evening to protest the grand jury's decision which charged one of three Louisville officers involved in Taylor's death for first-degree wanton endangerment, but not for murder. Malachi Hernandez, one of the speakers at the protest and MCAS 23, tied the decision in Louisville to the experience of students of color at BC. BC doesn't care or provide as much as they should for minority students. So we want to make it known that even though we are few, we are here, Hernandez told the Heights before the protest. BC football defeated Texas State 24-21 at Alumni Stadium on Saturday in the first ever meeting between the two football programs. The Eagles struggled early, trailing 21-7 midway through the third quarter. But BC finished the game by scoring 17 unanswered points and one in the closing seconds. That's all for now. For more Heights stories delivered straight to your inbox, subscribe to our newsletter at bcheights.com.